ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yours truly, this guy, simply known as Logamus Prime, playing some Sonic the Hedgehog games, and today we're gonna start a new game, we're starting that Sonic the Hedgehog Ados, a number two, which is probably the what, the most iconic, the most uh, legendary game in the whole series of Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah, I said it, it's probably the best Sonic game ever. I mean, so far, that I think, that I ever, I don't know, it's a game that is super nostalgia to me, it is very classic and dear to my heart, and I will definitely share a lot of memories I have of this game, and I really can't wait to play it again, this is not going to be some crazy 100% completion, I am not that type of gamer, I just want to play the game from uh, from point A to B, and without further ado, let's, let's do that. Oh, baby, Emro here. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. It's so pretty. Look at this game. Um, and I lost my little bubble. My God, look. The it's just I don't know. There's like night and day compared to this game and the original Sonic uh, that I just played uh, on my channel. It's just I don't know. Maybe it's just more fluid. It's just more colorful. It's more slick. I just don't know why this game is so much better in, in, in all sense of the word than that first Sonic the, Sonic the Hedgehog game. But I don't know. It's my opinion. It's not the only opinion, but I don't know. What a year. But yes. So like other kids in my generation, especially growing in the 90s, I think I'm not the only one that kind of grew up with the uh, the servitude of either being a Nintendo fan and wanting to play Sega games or having a Sega and wanting to play Nintendo. I was very lucky to have both in my world. The first ever console that I've ever owned was a, uh, you know, Super Nintendo my father bought me. And, and those games, you know, was Super Mario or Mega Man X. And those games were awesome, by the way. Yeah, I really loved those games. But... My uh, older brother, at uh, one time, uh, you know, gave me a hand-me-down, and he gave me his Sega Genesis, and he gave me all the games that he ever owned on that, on that system, and, you know, one of the first games I ever played from from him, from the, that hand-me-down, was freaking Sonic the Hedgehog, and this game absolutely changed my life. Not that, you know, Mega Man X or Super Mario World weren't, you know, bad games, it's just... There was something missing about those games. I don't I don't know how to describe it. Maybe it's just the idea of a mascot. Maybe just cuz uh I don't know, maybe I fell into that void of oh my god, radical and cool, you know, with how I mean obviously how cool Sonic looks. And I'm really sucking right now. Jesus, I am bad. So I don't know, there's something about Sonic that I always like and you know, if I were to stack Sonic and Mario next to each other, I would think, you know, Sonic is the coolest looking out of the two. But, whatever, that's not the point. <laughs> Another thing that I really loved about Sonic the Hedgehog was just, like I said, the colors is so vibrant and colorful, I guess is the right word. But I also love the music. The music was just... It's not even astounding, it's not even nostalgic, it's not even classic, it's not even fair to say that. It's just, Sonic's music, it, it's just unlike any other video game. Like, I mean, I love my Mega Man X soundtrack, and I love a few songs here and there from Super Mario World, but the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 soundtrack is beyond video games. Like, this, this music is absolutely amazing, and it's unfair that... I mean, I, I hope there's some award out there. Hopefully, this soundtrack can be, you know, beloved and remembered for ages to come. Because it should not be taken for granted. Especially with how archaic and uh, with how, you know, I don't know, how terrible, like, the medium of video games were back in the day. Especially with the technology back then. The fact that they were able to pull such classic songs, uh, you know, out of thin air... It's just this game just runs perfectly. There's just nothing wrong with this game. Yeah, aside from Metropolis, which is like one of the last few levels. It's not even, that's not even a complaint. 
It's just that level just sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I can just go on and on and just say, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is probably one of the best games ever fracking made, man. This game is absolutely amazing. I didn't even get to talk about, you know, Tails. I always thought Tails was a girl, but I guess he's a boy. You know, that, that was just me. Um, man, I, I remember growing up watching the cartoon and, and having Sonic with the shitty dogs. That was always silly. Oh, yeah, I used to I remember when, doing this and, and always being stuck here and, and sucking ass. And never being able to get out. But look at that. Look at me. Oh! <laughs> that was stupid. I fell again. I'm telling you, I suck. I suck. I suck. Hopefully it's back. Let's see. Tails is such an idiot. He's still stuck down there. So I played this game before I ever even played Sonic 1. So when you go back and play, you know, you start from Sonic 2 and then you go back to Sonic 1, it just, I don't know, it just, it, it doesn't seem right. It just can't do that. To me, it's the same context of saying what I'm going to say, which is very controversial, but the first Star Wars movie that I've ever watched was Episode 1, and compared to other people, you know, they can't go back. They started from Episode 4, you know, so they can't really appreciate Episode 1. They think Episode 1 is this garbage-ass movie, but when I was a kid, even as an adult, I really enjoyed that movie, but, you know, everybody hates it for whatever reason. I, I don't understand why. Why can't that be my Star Wars, <laughs> you know? Like, I almost feel like... It's definitely not the same context when people try to identify as whatever sex they want to, uh, sex orientation, you know, but that's how I feel about Star Wars, like, can I have, can I identify to my own Star Wars, like, Star Wars is pod racing, Star Wars is lightsabers and whatever, but that's a different subject all to its own, eventually maybe I'll go back and talk about Star Wars, whenever I start playing some Star Wars games on my chain or... This is Sonic Marathon, man! Look at that! I used to hate doing this. I used to fall all the time. Oh, baby. And I used to hate how they, they trick you. Oh, and I, I almost did it. I thought that... Okay, never mind. I thought that, that floor... No, it's this one. There we go. I'm sorry. This floor changes. It makes you a uh, fool to your death or, you know, almost to your death. And we're already close to the boss. I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Like, I'm going to be falling to new traps. I'm definitely not going to be making as many mistakes as I did on my previous playthrough with, with Sonic 1. I definitely played Sonic 2 a lot more than I, I did Sonic 1. Look at Tails helping me. Oh, God. He almost... We almost fell. Stop doing that. I'm going to die. Stop. You need to hop off him. Ugh. The bosses on this one are a lot easier, or at least, I don't know, yeah, they're a lot easier than the first one. I don't really recall a, a boss being that difficult anyway. To me, one of the difficult, one of the most hardest bosses in this game has got to be the casino boss. Not that he's kind of hard or anything, it's just, he's just, uh, holy crap, I had 142 rings. <coughs> Aquatic uh, Ruins. Oh, I knew it! And that arrow always gets me every time. I think they just design it that, that way. Just to get you. I got the hiccups, man. When you want to do a Let's Play and you're supposed to be talking, hiccups are the worst things to happen. By the way, I haven't entered any of the uh, checkpoints area. Um, you know ring place look at me getting hit I, oh my god totally died there it's my first death but we got Jack boy I should have went in there probably got a ring I'm gonna get myself killed all right that's a lot but oh and I spoke too soon At least, you know, ironically enough, too, the, the water levels in this game are not that scary, to be honest with you. They're a lot more simpler than than the ones in Sonic 1. I don't really remember this game being that, you know, crazy. 
I really love this game. We could, I could should like I should speed run this game or something. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I want the power, the fortune power, and fame, fortune but I'm running fame. in the marathon with the torch and the rain. I'm just a pawn in the game, the they're saying the game. off with his brain. I'm going insane, losing my mind, losing my mind. the illusion of time, and this life is up to you to decide. I'm gassed up, yup, Jupiter high. Self-esteem gets my train of thought rolling, now this logo's in motion.